Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be now talking about the four, uh, the basically the four main teams, well, four, four main regions actually, of the challenges um, going into Stage 1 Masters for Valorant. Obviously those four being North America, EMEA, Korea and Brazil. Those four vo uh, are basically are the only regions who have actually confirmed their teams will be competing for a spot in Masters. As for Japan, APAC and Latin America, I'll be making a separate video on them. Um, when their thing also starts. Uh, so, well, the one which is actually going to start first will be Europe. I'll be obviously talking a little bit more about that uh, next. But uh, let's first talk about North America. Now, obviously, as you can see here, these are the four teams who were invited. Oh, there's a little peek there. So these are the four teams who were invited into um, uh, into challenges. Sentinels, Team NV, 100 Thieves, and Cloud9. They have... Kept basically the roster. If you have seen my na my NA circa standing points, then you might already know the changes that I would have talked about, uh, especially for 100 Thieves, as they got some Baby J and Eccles, Jovi and Rocket um, <clears throat> are the coaches. Nothing has really changed for the other uh, three teams. Let's now move on to the first four teams who qualified uh, from the first uh, closed qualifier, and that is V1. X set the guard and NRG. So obviously these are, these are their logos, and here are their players. I already talked about V1, uh, X set and NRG, but I have not actually talked about the guard, which I will be talking about right now. So the guard, uh, when they announced the roster, they their roster looks really, they, they looked really, really, really good, and everyone expected them to basically be a contender of tier one, probably as well, just a tier a, a tier one level team. And this is what their roster looks like. So they have Sam, Net, Valen, Jonah P, Sire Player, and Trent. I was in, I, I, Sam, I think, is he's basically getting replaced by Trent very soon. But I was incredibly impressed of how they play. They played it. They played their, all their matches amazingly well. Everyone was cheering for them, including myself. So I'm really, really, really happy that this this team uh, with a fantastic with, with some fantastic skill as well and some talent as well made it into um, challenges and have a sp an actual legitimate spot of making it into Masters. I'm incredibly excited to see how they go against the top tier teams. Uh, their coach is MCE, uh, I think formerly from Genji Esports if I remember correctly. Uh, but I'm so excited to see how they play um, against, the, uh, against the tier 1 teams. So I move on to the second um, batch of teams who qualify from the, from the second now open qualifier. And that is Evil Geniuses, Pittsburgh Knights, or just Knights, Luminosity Gaming, and Rise. Now, I already talked about Luminosity and Rise in my video about NA. If you want to check that out, you can. Basically, uh, oh, okay, so they actually get, so they picked up Zek. I don't think that was, I don't think I mentioned that. Maybe I did, I don't know. But I guess they now have a coach of Zek, which I didn't realize. Or maybe that was actually used to be uh, Anger. Uh, was it? Nope, it looks like... That's weird. Alright. I don't know if it's actually still anger, but I think that might be. I'm just gonna have just a quick check. Uh, yeah, so it's still anger, so I don't know why Zek is there, which is a bit weird. But whatever. I already talked about Luminosity. Let's talk about Evil Geniuses for a second and Knights, so I'll just touch up on I'll just touch up on them a bit. Luminosity they've looked really, really good, especially in the second qualifier. Uh, they have Tho, Busio, Reformed, uh, Jokimo, I think that's how you say it, or I don't know, Jaw basically. And yeah, boy, Dre formerly from Luminosity Gaming. Um, this team surprised me out of the park. I was not expecting them to do this well. In the second close, uh, close qualifier, they were decent, I guess, in the first one. They didn't really perform well, but second one, they were they, they were showing up. Uh, their coach is Potter. I think the first ever head coach for, uh, for, for a male roster who's a female. Lynn is the assistant coach. This team looks really good. They also use that branded temperature and rocker temperature. You may know him from uh, as in his time of Gen G when he was um, trialing for them. EG looks pretty good, not the best, but decent. I'll say that. Finally, let's have a look at Pittsburgh Knights. Uh, so they have Ziff, Frosty as their IGL, Ban, Scuba, and they recently got Gangsta. Or well, yeah, Gangsta, whatever. Um, he was formerly from Immortals. Um, they, they only have. Three inactive players, Silence, Maka, and Exalt. 
and they have a coach of Ocean. This roster decent again, probably not going to, probably not going to surprise me. But those are the teams who'll be who'll be competing for uh, two spots. Yeah, two spots in Masters One. Let's have a look at EMEA now, and obviously let's just first start off with the first four teams who were invited. Um, into EMEA, Ascend, Gambit, Liquid, and Fnatic. Obviously, if you've seen my European video, you might already know the changes. Brave AF joined Fnatic. That's the only change we've got to. And Milan actually recently is now has now been promoted up to assistant coach role. As for the first four teams who qualify from the first close qualifier in their respective regions, EU, CI, uh, Turkey, and CIS, um, we have one actually new one, and it is big. Guild to pass the place in FPX. I mean, not that surprising as FPX, they, they've obviously now moved over to the CIS region. SMB with a new reformed roster looks really, really good. Guild looks amazing. Big, however, we need to talk about them for a second. Uh, they have God B as their IGL and their owner as well. They also have Aslan, Obnox, Casper, and Twiston. They also have Kundi Kundi as their head coach. Look, that, that, that roster looks really, really good. I don't know how they're going to go up against the top level tier teams, but I'm pretty excited to see how they go. Obviously, I already talked about the changes from the, from all these teams in my previous video um, about you know all these European teams. Let's now move on to the to the next batch of teams who qualified from the second close qualifier. We have G2, London United, BBL Esports, and Nardis Vincer or Navi. I already talked about three out of the four: Navi, BBL, and G2. Already talked about those. Uh, London United, we'll touch up on a bit here. So we got Fiku, I still don't know how you say his name. Boo, The Strain, Dreamass, or Dreamass, and Molesi. I know it's quite ironic that, um, <laughs> there is a no British players on this team, even though their team is literally called London United, but I digress. And I think, I think it's pronounced Joint, or Joint? I don't know how you say his name, but he is the coach for the team. The only coach. Again, decent. Not going to be surprising anyone, I shall say. But I guess we'll have a look also at the group stages as well here. Group A, Gambit, Liquid, Big, FPX, London United, and Na'Vi. Group B, Fnatic, Ascent, SMB, Guild, BBL, and G2. I'll probably also off camera as well. I'll be, I'll be making my predictions for these as well. And I will be showing you uh, probably my, my poor my poor predictions uh, when obviously when I get into it so when I also show you um, the predictions so at the end of all this so I have a go to Korea I think I think they're, they are the most recent team who actually actually known as NA but Korea is the next most recent team to announce their all the teams who have qualified into uh, from the closed qualifiers and this is everyone so I, all these eight teams DRX, formerly Vinstrikes, already talked about them, including Dam One Gaming and WGS. All these, all these other four are new. Maru Gaming have uh, Wix, Gabokchi, Guang R, Nak, uh, Nakjai, uh, Chabab, and Anax. I don't know where those guys are from. They're probably uh, formerly from a team uh, disbanded. Uh, Desperado. Uh, got uh, Godco, Ruzi, I think I might have seen him, I can't remember where he's from though. Gold, Seeker, I think he was formerly from TNL or Down 1 if I remember correctly, and Gun Korea. They only have one substitute of Kim Goite. Esports Connected, this is obviously the big team that everyone is talking about now. They have God Dead, Zumba, TS, King, Alone from DRX, and Bazi. Their coaches are Jamin and Perry. I'm incredibly excited to see how this roster goes against basically these two. Because these two are now the best, um, yeah, they're basically the best um, in their region. Team T5, um, I got we got Bang Nang, Redwater, Vo, or Val, Moves, and a Korean name which I cannot pronounce. And, and then we got the next one which is Brimstone, we got Hermes, 10X, uh, Jingbungi, Felix and Harry. I think Jingbong game used to be in TNL, including 10x. I might be wrong with that. Um, so they're going to be going just a little. They, they, they will be a group stage, but that has not been announced yet. Final one for today it will be Brazil, and these are all the teams who are competing for 
one spot in Masters. So we got the total of six invited teams, Team Vikings, Kid Stars, Liberty, Furia, Game Lens Blue and Sharks Esports for the four teams who qualified uh, through the closed qualifiers. Ninja the Pajamas and Lau from the first closed qualifier and TBK and in-game mini sports from the second closed qualifier. Now I, I, need, I, I need to talk about um, the Brazilian team a bit more because obviously when I made my video uh, all, some of these rosters wasn't confirmed or anything. So Team Vikings has their new roster of uh, Apollo, Veronzi, DS, Swag and Pepper. I kind of already said, um, I think it was Pepper, DS and Polo. I think those are the three players which um, said they were rumored to be joining the team. Um, they have Slash as their coach. I don't know if they're going to be good as they, as they were last year. Keystars is indeed keeping MW0 um, full time. Liberty has gotten Gleam as a new IGL. Furia has gotten Able J as their fifth player. Gamelanders Blue has announced their new roster, Na uh, namely, <clears throat> well, so I got the four players from Star Horizon correct. Uh, that will be Vinny, Dijizin, Chase, and Fazari. Nya um, Nyang, who was formerly inactive, will um, now come back up into the roster and be the the roster's IGO. FZN is currently still inactive, uh, but exciting things, especially for J uh, for Game Letters Blue. Shaw and JP will be the coach. Shark C Sports already talked about that, so I'll be so I'll going to be skipping them. Already talked about Ninjas and Pajamas a bit, but I'll, I'll quickly touch upon them. Zen as their IGL, John BNJ, VZN1, and Colson, and we got Roy as their coach. Lau, the new Brazilian uh, powerhouse team, uh, obviously formerly from Pancada e Amigos, but these are the uh, the players. Aspas, Les, Pancada, Sadhawk, and Sassi, and they have BZKA as their coach. In I'm incredibly excited to see how they go. I'm so excited, especially against basically the the, the six best teams in Brazil. Uh, for TBK, we got Roy to Z, I don't know, uh, Toys, uh, Matheson, Conan, or oh, Conan, I don't know, Luke Zira, and Dix, or Dykes, I don't know, as a coach. In game mini sports have, uh, I think I already talked about them BDR, Flames, RGLM, Nanzin, and Brain Wowsk, uh, one, and then they, and then they do not have a coach. As for their groups, this is the juicy part. Group A, we have Team Vikings, Liberty, Game Landers Blue, Loud, and TPK Esports. As for Group B, we have Vivo Keed or Keith Stars, Furia Esports, Sharks Esports, In Game and Esports, and Ninjas and Pajamas. Some, some really, really exciting uh, matches, especially I cannot wait for Vikings versus Loud. That's going to be really, really good. So, that is really about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys all next time in the next one. Goodbye.